In tonight's rewrite, a group called Patriotic Millionaires rewrites the image of the American millionaire, emphasizing generosity over greed. They think their taxes should be raised. The Patriotic Millionaires, who represent more than 200 people making more than $1 million a year, met yesterday with Super Committee members, Tea Party Caucus members, and... Grover Norquist. The patriotic millionaires asked everyone they visited to consider raising taxes on them. Grover Norquist's response was, of course, they can write their own checks to the Treasury if they really want to. Norquist also said, quote, if I don't have to pay any taxes for it, I would forego all of those things. The things Grover is willing to forego include police officers, firefighters, public school teachers, the list goes on and on. Grover, you see, is at heart, not just anti-tax. Grover Norquist is an anarchist. One of the patriotic millionaires, Eric Schoenberg, told the Huffington Post his response to Norquist was, Government is not a charity, and we can't rely on voluntary contributions from people to support the things that government does. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the patriotic millionaires. President Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. To our elected leaders, we say, it is time to ask us, America's most fortunate citizens, to do what we can do for our country. Our position here today is we ought to return to at least the levels that were in, ex in existence before the tax cuts of 2001 and that were part of a very successful society. The economy is doing a lot better in the 1990s with tax rates at that level than they've been over the last 10 years. This week, the super committee has a job to do. We will ask them to do something that will affect us and our fellow 0.01 percenters about as much as a dead fly interrupts a picnic. Each of the people standing with me and each of the 200 patriotic millionaires we represent believe that the very first step the Congress should make, the very first step, should take uh, toward this goal is to immediately end the Bush tax cuts for incomes over $1 million a year. People earning over $1 million a year and they pay lower tax rates on average than the middle class. The country over the past 10 years, through uh, two unfunded wars, uh, through uh, tax cuts to its wealthiest citizens, has dug a hole that is bigger than the hole that was dug by World War II. The economy's in trouble, national debt is in trouble, we don't have the jobs we need to sustain the economy. We have actually undermined the employment gains our economy made in the private sector by firing thousands of workers in the public sector. Just to emphasize this point, we have been firing people who work for us because we are unwilling to ask a few of the more fortunate Americans to pay exactly what they were paying just a few years ago in taxes. Are these people necessary and important for our society? Yes, absolutely. And they have to get paid. And because they work for us, they must be paid by the people through taxes. Because we made a lot of money from our society, more money from using these functions we should invest more in maintaining it. We here at The Last Word are happy to provide equal time to any of America's greedy millionaires who would like to come here and explain why they just can't afford to pay one more dollar in taxes.